What's going on guys? So we're back again with another gameplay video. This time we have Pat here on the left playing King Piccolo and we have Perth Pro Players team member Jason here on the right playing Finn. So just before we get started into the gameplay video, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Team Card Titan. If you guys want any DBS seal products or DBS singles, make sure you check out that link in the description below. And all of the people in Australia and New Zealand should check out their auction page on Facebook as well. Now, King Piccolo, still an absolute powerhouse, right? A lot of people thought once Drum was cut down to one, wouldn't be as strong, but it's still really, really strong. Does so much for so, so cheap. Um, can be very, very aggressive. Um, it's just all around good. You draw a hell of a lot of cards as well, which I always like drawing cards. Now, Finn hasn't really seen too much play, I guess, competitively, but it is a great deck. It's really, really fun deck um it does quite a lot of annoying things especially against this deck um it can just steal pretty much everything and just blank a lot of cards as well a lot of it doesn't have barriers so he can just kind of steal blank and then just benefit from it quite a lot because a lot of his things say when skillless battle cards or unisons um are on the board so going pretty interesting especially a blank unison um such as the king piccolo that kind of sucks so if he gets a card that can blank the unison and then steal it Rather annoying, especially because you do build up a hell of a lot of markers as well on that unison. So we didn't get our ideal turn one play for King Piccolo. We want the piano turn one. That's the ideal thing. But we did hit the next best thing. At least we got a turn one play. I think that's always beneficial, right? Having at least one turn one play. So we are going to hit, it looks like, the four cost here, which is great. That's something we can evolve over later. And we can start buffing up our tambourines um, and really get some damage through. So, we have got Drum, so we found the one of, uh, which is quite nice, so we can just get that whenever we really need it, uh, which is great for him. Only thing here, though, uh, I guess for Pat now, right, is that Finn can just steal this and awaken, right? Very easily just steal it and awaken if he wishes. So, let's see what Jason decides to do. He plays this deck um, a lot more than I ever have. So, um, it's going to be interesting, but it looks like that's exactly what we're going to go for. We're going to go for the awaken, go the steal. Down to six and we flip, right? Which is quite nice for him. Uh, being able to draw a card now. So just getting full value out of this awakened turn for him, right? So that's probably what he was trying to go for. Just there, let's get the draws as many as possible. Now, we are going to hit the Boo Unison, right? So we got the plus by 5k if we want for the plus one. Uh, which is exactly what he's going to do just here, I'm assuming. is plus one swing for a 20k. Pat's going to take that, no rush at all and then being able to draw a card just there off the lingering auto effect now the card's completely blank now on pat's board so it is um skills negated so this is going to be pretty interesting obviously he can still do his evolves and everything like that if he wishes but it is just a blank card so if you steal some other cards that actually have valuable information such as keywords like double strike or something like that he can also steal them and start swinging with double strike with his leader plus he's going to gain 5k for every card underneath it as well so it's going to be pretty uh aggressive potentially uh so it's gonna be interesting to see what we decide to do now piano he knows piano is not safe there's no point playing it out right if it that goes out it's getting sucked straight under um finn he does, doesn't want it to be around so we're going to take it straight away i think we'll probably just go for the unison no energy up Go for the unison, right? Hope, hopefully it hangs around. That's all I can say. Is hopefully it hangs around and we can keep plussing. Because um, we don't really have any spirit boost in this deck at all. So I think hit the unison, draw one. And then we can go for our awaken. When we swing with our leader, of course. So plussing. Straight to three, drawing a card. I'm assuming we go straight for the swing with our leader. Place one in and then we go for our awaken, right? And this is kind of where you get a hell of a lot of value from this deck. Now, if we had piano in as well, that would probably be the ideal thing, having piano on the board. It looks like Pat may try to clear this unison off the board right now. Drum is one of the cards that is safe because he does have barrier, right? So I think probably what he's going to do is go for the clear. Now... Stubbs is going to say no to that. Stop him from pretty much attacking for the rest of the turn. I believe it's like a dormant here and he gets one more attack for the turn, I believe. 
I can't remember if this negates the attack though. Um, or maybe that can't happen just yet. Um, maybe I, I'm forgetting how it works. But anyway, that is a great card. Um, it really puts it in Finn's favor after a while if because it stops you from wearing down their hand too much. Um, they get a hell of a lot of protection and it slows down the game, especially against an aggro deck. I think there may be an energy requirement to it. I can't remember the card off the top of my head, so I do apologize, guys. But we are swinging in. We are going to put the tambourine. We are going to flip our leader, draw some extra cards, and then place another one in to our life, right? So draw three, place one in the life. Quite comfortable, right? Still sitting at five life, which is great. So the early awaken on this deck, I feel like it's absolutely insane, especially because when you start going for now, he's going to probably start going for his combos and things like that. I'm surprised he didn't. Um, I thought he would put another card out onto the board, right? Uh, but maybe he's choosing not to. I thought maybe he'd go for drum, but maybe he wants to keep drum for a little bit later because I feel like Barry is quite nice. Now, I'm surprised that he didn't even just like combo off this... Um, Piccolo just here. He could have probably comboed off the Piccolo. But what he's probably going to do now is swing the Piccolo and then maybe uh, combo off the drum or whatever it is in his life. So then he can start swinging off and just finish it off. Um, I think it would have been better probably just to swing on the Piccolo unison swing to combo then, I think. Um, but looks like we are just going to pass turn here. So still having access to our unison, which is kind of sad. Um, I wonder if... Pat's unison is going to be stolen this turn. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, potentially, it will be. Right, but it looks like we're going to steal the battle card anyway. It's got no skill, so it doesn't really bother us too much. But we do get a plus here as Finn, so we get the plus 5k. No keywords, which is nice as well. Um, so no double strike or anything like that coming in. Probably going to put some pressure into the unison, I would say, right now, unless he has some way of clearing it. Looks like we are going into leader though, so we're going to use the effect of our leader. Comboing one from life, taking it to 20k, right? So 20k is quite nice. Um, he only needs one card then from hand to combo out. Taking it to 25, so we're going for the tambourine uh, to combo from hand. We do have one in life, right? So we can get that out quite easily. Um, and we are just going to minus on the total. So it's one less 5k, I guess. Uh, we're going to plus here. Just gain extra 5k. So swinging 20 is rather annoying all the time, actually. Swinging 20k's. You want to just be sit hitting with 15s. Um, but again, Pats is going to have to be able to combo out of these things. Or, as you can see, go down to 4 life, and that's fine as well. Going down to 4 life in this deck, quite comfortable. Um, again, he's got access to Rejuvenate, unless for some reason he does get rid of uh, this unison skill just here, right? Which I think is potentially what's happening right now, which is rather sad. So he is gonna steal the unison just here. So he's only got, he's gonna have two markers and no skill. So that's gonna suck for him, right? Right here. Cause then he's not gonna be able to get the consistent draw that he would usually off his unison. Um, it's gonna come back with two markers. And I don't think he has a spirit boost skill to be able to get the effects back either, which really sucks too. So uh, it is something that maybe if you're versing Finn and you're running um, a certain deck that really relies on the unison, maybe that's when you need to have a look at running something that is a cheap spirit boost effect or ch cheap spirit boost card that you are able to uh, do that to then gain back the effects of your unison, right? Now, passing back over to Pat. So could be in a very aggressive turn, but it feels like Pat's almost got to try to play the control rather than the aggression, right? Because he can't put too much on the board because it's just going to be stolen straight away and then he loses the effects of it. So it's rather frustrating. So what he needs to be able to do is just have like a very big turn in a way, right? If he doesn't have, if he can't get a big turn going, it could kind of screw him over putting things on the board because they're just going to lose their effects um, and then they're just kind of useless beaters in a way it feels like. Um, especially because he can't swing into the unison with vanillas either, right? So he can't swing in with vanilla. So it looks like we are going to swing. I believe that was into unison, but we are going to negate here with the Goku. So we've got the Goku. No combo cost, sadly, but still, at least we have access to a counterplay here. So we have got the Yamcha. 
as a counterplay. I'm assuming this one I'm probably going to go into um, into the unison as well. But looks like we're going to use the effect here, putting in just two and grabbing two back, right? Which is quite nice for him. So we do have access to our symbol. Symbol, yes, symbol it is. So we do have access to our symbol where we can tuck something underneath our unison. Now, I think, I believe it's only ruled that if it gets minus, that's when you can get the effects of the unison back. I'm pretty sure uh, it's not if it's plus, it's only if it's minus. So even though you change the numbers on the unison, it doesn't change the card. I believe the plusing they ruled it is it doesn't change the card, it doesn't lose its skills or anything like that when it's plus. But it looks like what we're going to do is we're going to hit the tambourine. We're going to play that out onto the board. Swinging in once again. Being a 20k too. Because we do get the buff from the attack. Not having barrier sadly on this card. Once again, going to be stolen quite easily. Which kind of sucks, right? Uh, but I'm assuming here we're probably going to swing another attack. Into the leader. Just take him down to 5. Yep, so swinging in with a 15. 15 to 15. Probably swinging in here maybe with a 20 after. But it looks like we are going to go for another unison, which is great. Right, so then we're going to go for our plus, drawing an extra card. So there we go. That's one way to do it. If you're relying on unisons, obviously you can just replace it, which is quite nice. But um, it's still a little bit annoying. I think a spirit boost maybe just backs it up that little bit extra. But you need to find one that's, I guess, valuable enough for the deck that you're playing that's not going to be too neg or too cost heavy, right? That's the other thing is you don't want something that's going to cost too much if it does the spirit boost um, because you are only getting two markers back on it too and you don't want to be wasting too much energy on trying to get it back because it can just be stolen. Again, quite easy. Now we are going to go for the evolve, which is great here for Pat. So you can buff up that tambourine even more. Go and grab himself, I would assume, the three-cost Piccolo, because now we have three markers on our unison just here. We can actually play the three-cost out. So let's see what he decides to go for. I'm assuming we're going to go for that. Exactly what we're going for. Great card. Another card that kind of got um, limited, which hurt the deck a little bit. Right, I think that card in this deck was absolutely insane. Um, it was just so easy to play out, start swinging Evolve over, like, incredible card in this deck. As I said, though, this deck's still very, very strong. Now, we are going to swing in a 20k. We are going for our super combo. Uh, it looks like we're tucking a unison drawing, too. More negates. More negates is what we got. So, he's going to be able to extend the game quite comfortably here very soon. Uh, it looks like we do have at least five in our drop, so this tambourine can easily be negated by power burst. We are gonna go for our boy, swinging a double strike 20k. And this is kind of the turn that Pat needed to have, right? As I was saying, having a slow turn is gonna hurt, but he needs to have a very big aggressive turn, right? That's what he needs to do. Now, we are gonna go for this effect. Now, I'm pretty sure it's like dormant. I think you do still get one more attack for the turn. And I, I believe it, it negates. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, obviously it does negate because he would have probably put some combo behind it. Looks like we are just going to go for our power burst though instead. Um, grabbing back, I would assume, our tower. Yeah, otherwise we do have our Goku, of course, that we could also grab back that we saw get uh, played before the negate. But it looks like we're going to just have to pass turn there, unfortunately. Now, in this instance, I think the best thing for uh, Jason to steal would be the four-cost King Piccolo. Right? Grabbing that four-cost King Piccolo stops it from having all the effects to be able to buff Tambourine and everything, uh, which kind of sucks for Pat. I think he wants to have that buff every turn so he can start swinging with that little bit more aggressive, um, which he needs to do. He needs to be aggressive in this, this game. He does have to win fast. The longer it goes out, I think it's probably in Finn's favor more and more. Every turn, the more energy they get, the more things they can steal, the more they blank your board, you know what I mean? So I think it's definitely better to be able to kill as soon as possible. Now, I think we're going to steal the tambourine here. 
It may have an energy restriction. I can't remember off the top of my head if Finn does have an energy restriction. I believe it probably does. For what it can steal, maybe it doesn't. But it looks like we're going to choose Tambourine. So, um, looks like we've maybe got some other things in hand that steal. Or, I think I just saw an SS4 Gogeta uh, Zeno in hand as well. So, he could even be going for something like that. Um, which, again, alongside its super combo and uh, that Goku negate, they're both 5Ks. We can very easily go into that, which is quite nice. Exactly what we're doing, right? Exactly what we're doing. A very, very strong uh, card just here. And kind of scary, really, swing in face um, right here. So, going to be pretty interesting to see what actually happens um, for Pat here. Doesn't look like he's got access to, I don't think, any negates, uh, which kind of sucks for him. So we are going to swing in. Maybe we do have a negate. Maybe, um, yeah, we do have a negate, which is good. So we're going to grab the piano, and then we're going to get our token out onto the board right just here. So getting our token out onto the board. Still get taxed. Unfortunately, still get taxed. Ideal thing would be to not, but unfortunately, that's not how it works. Once he's swung, it's happening, even though we're in the gate. So we are going to get rid of the Piccolo as well. Looks like just there. Swing in again. I'm assuming here we probably just block straight away. I would dare say we block. Although we do have, this is the other thing, but you want to do it on the third swing. So the third swing, what you want to do is be able to do the negate. So we are going to swing in again. Uh, I guess Stubbs here probably thinking he's going to be able to clear the board of that drum as well. But we did get hit with a negate, unfortunately, here. Um, but, again, the leader has stolen, unfortunately. I was going to say the leader could steal it, take away the double strike. Um, that's something, unfortunately, that if that hangs around... Stubbs can steal that card and then gain double strike on his leader, which is rather scary. Um, but we are just going to pass turn right there. So this is going to have to be a big turn here for Pat. He's going to have to be rather aggressive to try to close out this game. Uh, again, Stubbs has access to that negate that gives you only one more swing, which uh, unfortunately is going to really draw out the game as much as possible. And that's what Finn wants to do. As I said, the longer the game goes, I think the more in favor it is for Finn. Uh, if you can't close out super, super early, it is going to be difficult to be able to do that in the later games, especially against um, a negate like that, unless you've got some form of like counter-counter or something like that. Um, which maybe Pat does, who knows, we'll see how he goes. Um, we're going to swing, I think, it looks like, into the leader. Going to hit this negate just here straight away, which is understandable. Doesn't want too much coming in. Looks like we're going to swap out potentially one. The only hard thing here, I feel like we really want to get rid of that Gogeta um, this turn. I just don't see it really happening, which kind of sucks. I don't think we're going to be able to get that off the board like we want to. Um, and it is going to be rather scary swinging in next turn again because it's just going to be more and more taxing. Clearing the board more and more. Um, I would assume that Stubbs is probably going to steal the double strike here off of this... Uh, Piccolo, right, I would assume. So let's see what he decides to do. He may even combo off his board, potentially, just so Stubbs can't steal it, because he is going to lose it anyway, I guess. So he may just go for something like that. Looks like we're going to go for one. SCR hit there, always sad. And then we're going to hit uh, our symbol just there. So we're going to get this out onto the board, get a few more draws going once again. So let's see. Uh, we're going to get that out on the board. Again, not comboing 
the double strike off is rather interesting to me. So we're going to take it to 25. My God, if he if he does another one, it's going to be a very, very scary um, thing for Pat here as well if he, if he tries to chuck another one down. The fact that it doesn't have unique or anything like that. Triple attack, and it's got a blocker as well. Pretty scary. Um, so it looks like we are going to tuck one under, draw an extra card. I don't know if he's drawn off the unison this turn either. I think he could take it up if he wants. Although he may even decide to go for the minus. Let's see what he's got. Um, I don't think he has a way to evolve this Piccolo, though. That's the only downside. I don't think he does have a way to evolve this Piccolo. Because um, I believe it states three or less specifically, which kind of sucks. Uh, and he probably wants to go into the big boy as well, if he can this turn. Um, he may even be able to go for something like that. He may try to go for the big SR, potentially. Try to put some damage through. We are just going to block straight away, just here. So it can't be KO'd once it's in rest mode. Right, I believe it is. Um, by opponent's skill, sorry. Can't be KO'd, um by the opponent's skills. Trying to get this KO here, because we don't want this hanging around. The longer this hangs around, the scarier it's going to be, right? So we're trying to get this off the board as much as possible. So we are going to throw uh, a Super Combo behind. Drawing two cards, trying to protect it, which makes sense, right? This card's so very, very strong, um, and it's going to tax Pat a lot next turn, because his hand is getting very low. Um, he's not going to be able to attack anymore. I believe this is the last one for the turn. We're going to hit the plus. So as I said, I think what Pat was trying to do as well is get the minus and everything like that. Try to get the evolve. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the evolve. Uh, and then be able to try to kill this Gogeta with the effect of the Piccolo. But it doesn't look like that's what we're going to get to at all, unfortunately. Um, so this Gogeta is going to live to see another day. And I dare say this is probably going to be uh, the last turn, I have a feeling, for Pat. I just have a feeling... Um, Especially because he can steal the double strike off this Scion Negate as well. Um, and then be able to swing with a big 35k triple attack, right? That is going to be very, very strong coming through. And I don't see him being able to combo out. Now, we're going to steal the effect there. Getting a plus, plus 5k and double strike. Gonna play into the fin absorbing something else. Probably the unison, yep. I would dare say the unison just here. Um, so he's gonna get access to all of that. Wonder if he has another Gogeta in hand. Could be pretty insane if he does, right? Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Um, does not look like it. And I don't think we charged that turn. I think we stayed at four. So Pat feeling probably on the back foot a little bit here. Um, and I think Stubbs is in the driver's seat right now, especially with this Gogeta Zeno on the board just here, right? So let's see what he goes for. I would assume we go the Gogeta Zeno swing straight away. Clear the board and the hand a little bit. We just need one to connect, and then we can try to win it off the back of the fin, right? However, sorry, we do have a blocker on board, so there is that potential that we can't do it that way. We do have a blocker on board. Um, I believe, though, I just saw Pan SCR as well in hand, which is rather strong too. So something like that could also do a hell of a good job at trying to close out the game, especially behind this 35k swing. Pat only having three cards in hand right now, I believe, or four maybe, maybe four. 
Um, I think if Stubbs throws a 5k, he probably doesn't even need to. But if he throws a 5k, the damage is definitely happening for sure. But it looks like it's going to happen anyway. Um, probably going to swing in the double here. Getting the block, I would assume, if not a negate. I think it's going to get negated. I'm going to establish another blocker here, which is rather nice for him. Exactly what we're doing. So we're going to hit the block. block. Sorry, hit a negate, and we're going to gain another blocker. All right, so now we've got two blockers, two life. So now we have to deal a little bit of extra damage here, right? Uh, which is rather scary still. It looks like we do have access to some overrun, though, if we need it. So... Looking pretty pretty good now. So Pat's kind of changed it around a little bit in his favor, I think. He's looking pretty good now with the two blockers on the board. Still four cards in the hand as well. I miscounted before. It was, it was five cards, it looks like. But there is that potential that he tries to close out here with a double strike Champa, which is what he's got in hand. So I think what you do is you combo everything except the Overrealm dual attack Bardock. Right, I think you keep that in hand because what you want to try to do is try to close out with that potentially if you can't do it with the Gogeta. And then also I think you keep the pan in hand too because that's an extra swing. That's a free 40k, right? Pat's definitely not comboing out of that one at all, right? So I think we're at uh, 25, 35, 40k. So that's pretty nice rip right off the top. Pat's definitely going to use that straight away, no doubt about it. Um, why wouldn't you use something like that straight away? So he's going to get the super combo off the top, get a super combo, and I believe, I thought that was another super combo they drew into, it was the Yamcha. I was going to say, I believe it was another super combo he drew into, which would have been pretty insane, but was just the Yamcha. So we're going to hit 25, 35. at 40k right now so 40k right now gonna combo out of this one and then we've got two blockers but i believe he's still got two attacks with the gogeta zeno i'm pretty sure so he can block the two they will both die but then he does have access to as i said the over on bardock so block straight away Swing again. Maybe no block, block from Pat here. So it looks like he's going to take an interesting choice. He's going to try to save the block for the last attack. Force um, Stubbs to have another guy to swing through. We're going to block this one 100%. Yep, because we can't let it just go through. Then we swing again. Play pan for free. Swing a 40k. Great. <laughs> so there we go, guys. Finn taking that one. Really in uh, Finn's favor, unfortunately, that game. Uh, quite strong with the steals and everything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to subscribe. Hit that bell to stay notified. And I'll catch you on the next one.